Hi, I'm Amy Fothergill. Welcome to my warm kitchen. I'm going to make for you today some drop biscuits that are gluten-free and dairy-free. They're on page 203 in the cookbook and watch how easy this is. In my Cuisinart, I have white rice flour, some potato starch, xanthan gum salt, and some sugar. I make a strawberry shortcake today, so I've made them a little bit sweeter. Um, I'm going to add some super cold, I actually put this in the freezer, shortening. Now in our family, we do, we do besides gluten-free, we also do dairy-free. So it's a dairy-free shortening that I use. If you're not dairy-free, you can just use butter. But you do want that cold because you want it to be able to create um, if the flakiness, just like you would if you were making regular, regular biscuits. So I'm going to give this a few pulses, and I would say when you make any type of pastry or biscuit, you want it to look just like grated cheese. So let me give it a swirl. It shouldn't take very long, maybe 10 or 20 seconds. And it looks just like grated cheese. In this bowl, I have eggs, vinegar, and some coconut milk. For us, we use coconut milk because we're dairy-free. If you don't have to worry about the dairy, use regular milk. The reason I don't add this to that is it becomes very gummy and very sticky. That's why I'm going to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. With the dry ingredients, you want to give it a little bit of a whisk before you do that. This is a nice little trick. If you hold the bottom of the food processor, the blade won't come out. And carefully add that. Give a little swirly swirl around. Put that aside, make some room. Guess we don't need this this moment. Put that right here. And then we're just gonna stir it. So we're looking for a more of a batter. It, this is a drop biscuit, so it can be a little bit wetter than your regular biscuit recipe that you're used for that you would maybe roll on the counter. So for this drop biscuit that I'm making today, I'm making it a little bit sweeter. And I'm going to use it for strawberry shortcake. And you see, I have some beautiful strawberries I got today. It's lovely. And you see very quickly it comes together. And just a spatula, medium sized bowl. And before I started, my oven is set to 400 degrees. My batter is done. That the dough, it's really, that's all you have to do. And my, one of the other tips, you'll see all sorts of tips in the cookbook is using a hinge scooper like this. And all I do is I scoop and plop. You can get like about 12 to 16 biscuits from this recipe. And then when I'm done putting it onto the tray, I'm gonna to top it with some sugar and that'll make it even better. Now on this tray, I have what's called a silpat or silicone baking mat. I love them. They're great for gluten-free baking because nothing sticks to it. If you don't have a silpat, I would suggest using parchment paper because your gluten-free batter is really sticky. And if you just put it on a regular cookie sheet, not going to work that well. So a few more. Look at that. How quick is this to put together? Now, of course, before you came and you saw me, I did measure the ingredients. So that does take a little bit of time, but really not too much time. And let's scrape, scrape. That's why I love these scrapers. All right. And add that to that last guy right there. Put that aside. Just have some white sugar. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to top each one just a tiny bit of sugar. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll put them in the oven for a few minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, give the exact time. And when they come out, I'll show you again. I'll be right back. Thanks. I am back and the biscuits are perfect. They took about 15 minutes. Here they are. I can't remember if I mentioned, but there is baking powder in there because it does need to rise. They are just perfect. They're golden brown on the top, definitely golden brown on the bottom. And that's the advantage, I think, of this old pad. And they're not crumbly. So we're going to take our biscuit, carefully cut it in half. Let's take a look. Oh, doesn't that look great? Look at that texture. And then we're just going to take some strawberries. I sliced them up. I added a little bit of sugar, a tiny bit of salt. Why the salt? Well, the salt draw, I mean, a pinch, a pinch. The salt, the salt draws out the moisture. And just look at that. It's got a little bit of liquid from sitting. And now it's the best part. I get to taste it. So I'm going to take a little bite. 
with my strawberries. I feel like I'm so excited. And with a bit, <laughs> let's give it a try. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The biscuit is fluffy. It's light. It's staying together really well. You can see it's not most of gluten free biscuits tend to fall apart. These taste just like regular. I hope you liked my drop biscuits from the family chef in my new cookbook, The Warm Kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.